Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys, happy Friday. It's day 102 of the Quarantine Gardeners and sorry we're getting this out a little bit later than normal. If you don't know, we're the Quarantine Gardeners and this is our daily video log of us accomplishing projects around our garden while under quarantine. And thank you for watching, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time here watching our series, go ahead and click that button down below so you don't miss out on tomorrow's video. And for those of you that have been around watching for a while, thank you so much. So guys, today is Friday and it's Plant Chat Friday. Yay! Yay! So we're gonna talk to you today about hydrangeas. Yeah. Yeah, and we, and we have two different kinds of hydrangeas in our yard that we wanted to share with you and talk to you about today. This is our first hydrangea, isn't it beautiful? Look at that, guys. Now this is a hydrangea macrophylla, and the common names for this hydrangea are big leaf or garden hydrangea. And you can kind of see it's got that roundish shape to the leaf. It's serrated, there's a slight tip to it on the leaf, but look at these oh, beautiful, so beautiful flowers. So this is a summer crush hydrangea that we got from Bailey Nurseries. Now this hydrangea, the blooms are gonna last a really long time. So that's pretty cool. We're excited to see these. This is the first year we've actually had these planted here. And so guys, these hydrangeas, like most hydrangeas, like partial shade, a little sun's okay, but partial shade, they like well-draining enriched soil. So that's something you wanna keep in mind when you put these in your garden. But the great thing is, is hydrangeas are not finicky when it comes to sandy or clay soils. So they'll grow in both clay or sand soils. That gives you a lot of options for whatever type of soil you have, so that's cool. This hydrangea right here that we have is bred, was bred to be a little bit smaller, a little more compact, so it would be great for a container. Bailey Nurseries bred these to be about three feet wide and three feet high at maturity. So they're not gonna get that big. Usually macrophylla hydrangeas do get about six to seven feet tall and about four to five feet wide. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at these to put in your garden. So these hydrangeas start blooming in like mid to late summer. Now we're in early summer and you can see they're already blooming. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, we feel real lucky you guys. Yeah. They're already starting to bloom. And usually macrophylla, their flower colors can range from what you see here, kind of a purple, pink, red, white. Blue. Um, you could get blue, which is a kind of the rare hydrangea. So fun fact here, guys, hydrangeas, if you don't know this, can grow in many different soils like we talked about, but they, they can grow especially in different pH of soils. So if you have a high acidic soil or a low in pH, um, it will, the hydrangeas will have flowers more of a purple to blue hue to them. And if you have a higher pH or more alkaline soil, then you'll get more of the pinks and reds. That's cool. I love this color, but I, you know, Sean and I are total science nerds and we, I, it would be really fun to experiment and try to get a blue hydrangea. Yeah, we might even, we might try that. If you have a white blooming hydrangea, this is a fun fact too. White blooming hydrangeas don't mind if they're in alkaline soils or acidic soils, they won't turn color. So if it's a white hydrangea, any type of soil pH is fine and you, you're not gonna be able to change that flower color. So here is another species of hydrangea that we're growing. And this again was also for Bailey Nurseries. So thank you, Bailey. This is a hydrangea paniculata or it's called panicle hydrangea. Sean knows a little more nerdy stuff about panicles. Well, panicles is a type of flower and it's made up of a couple different smaller flowers that are all brought together on a single stem. And a panicle is more of a spike. Um, kind of like cone shaped, right? Yes, it's definitely got a cone shape. It, it tapers up from the base of the flower, which starts out a little wider, and then it tapers up to a point or something resembling a point at the very top of the flower. And that's basically a panicle flower. That's cool. This is gonna be totally different than the other bloom we showed you. Um, this will, like we said, it's like a cone shape, so it'll come up and out and kind of be pointy and stand more upright, where the other hydrangea had more of a kind of a ball shaped, almost a flattened disc kind of shape. Yeah, or a mound. Yeah, a mound. Yeah. That's and so, cool. yeah, it's really cool, the variety here. So these hydrangeas, you can see, have a little bit longer leaf. Um, it's got a little bit of a darker hue to it. Um, they're still serrated. These hydrangeas are the same as the macrophylla, where they do like well-draining and rich soil and 
partial shade. This hydrangea is called Berry White, and again, we got it from Bailey Nurseries. This is a, their brand, First Editions. This, um, what's kind of cool, this hydrangea is gonna bloom white, and then as the season progresses from July through probably, what, September? Yep, into early fall. It'll like, the flower will actually change color to like a pink or a berry, so Berry White. Berry White. Love that. I can't, we can't wait to see this. We when, received these all last September from Bailey Nurseries and they were in bloom and they were beautiful. So, but we didn't get to see them in white. They had already progressed to the berry color. And guys, what we're doing is we're giving you a close up. Those are the flower buds and that is what is going to just shoot up and get into that cone shape with the point on the top later on this summer. So it's kind of fun to see how small and tiny it is, and then it's gonna get a lot bigger. So guys, mature size on these plants, they're gonna get six to seven feet high, and they're gonna grow about four to five feet wide. So make sure to keep their mature size in the back of your mind when you're planning and planting these out in your garden. Yeah, these might not be as good for containers. These, as you can see, we put two of these out in our one of our garden beds and they're surrounded by roadies and some other things that also take more of a partial shade. So they're gonna do really well here. You could use them, them in borders if you have the space. They're really great in groupings, uh, singly or around other large plants like Allison said, this roadie right here. I don't notice the deadheading. Yeah, yeah. So we have another beautiful hydrangea that you may have seen in another video the other day, which is just starting to bloom. It is well. a macrophylla as well. So we're, we love hydrangeas. We've got some in the front yard and the backyard and they do very well here. So guys, leave us your comments or questions down below. We love hearing from you. Give us that thumbs up. Let us know if we're doing a good job and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our newest videos. We hope that was helpful for you today and thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with, a, with our garden tool Saturday. So hope to see you here and have a great day. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow everybody. Bye-bye.